Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back as we continue our journey to complete the arc. The previous episode we managed to tame ourselves an RG and we've now got a Dodic and between episodes I've been busy gathering plenty of materials in order to get ourselves a basic base down. Now on Scorched Earth we have to use the Adobe stuff so that means we need sand and clay and it's quite expensive. As well the Dodic doesn't take any reduced weight on the sand like it does with the stone so it's just made it more time consuming. I've just cleared out this area here, tried to get rid of some of these bushes but uh, they're spawning back really quick. So let's just clear out this space, otherwise my foundations are going to clip through onto this surface. But I figured that I'd build it here because this is a fairly flat surface to begin our build on. And I can always extend it from here. But let's get our foundations down. Now, I'm not going to make a square build. We'll try to do something that looks cool. Even though it's not entirely relevant to completing the arc that we do these funky builds. I still like to put my own twist on them. So, but unfortunately, because these things are so expensive, well, we're just going to have to build on it a little bit over time and as we need. So we come three down this way. I don't want to do like a rectangle. We'll try and give it a, a different shape. Okay, let's come out one more. Okay. Now I want to put like a garage or another little outbuilding on the outside here. So it doesn't look rectangle. So let's come out one more. Okay. I think I need to extend it on the other side. Just one more, otherwise it's going to be a bit thin here. I've got four foundations left, so yeah, let's do that. So that's our ground floor surface. It's nothing too big. I'm going to use the Adobe double door here. Stick our entrance there. I'm not going to be using the dinosaur door here. So I've crafted the Adobe double door. I'm going to put that right down here. And let's get some walls and windows down. Did a load of slope ceilings.
Okay, so I'm just having a little break from building. I figured we'd come out and have a look for some loot drops and a couple of new tames. So what we got here? Fantastic, an oil pump. That's exactly what I needed right now because I was hunting for the oil bugs and I need 10 oil in order to craft the fabricator and each oil bug I've found has only given me like one oil back so I'm going to plant that oil pump down and that'll give us some oil. So I was just planning to go out and have a little hunt. I've built a taming pen and ideally you want to find a filer or a wolf or maybe a sabre tooth something that's going to help me grab some polymer a wolf pack would be great for that across the desert um, but they could also help me do the caves now there is three caves to do on scorched earth I'm definitely going to need a mount of some sort and I think I'd probably prefer to do the caves on the back of a decent phylocolio but I'm not looking for anything specific I think a lot of people ask in the comments where do you find the Rexes? I go out and search and I can't find it and I always find it in my own Discord as well. People shout out on the server that they're going to find something specific and they just can't find it. I always find I never go out and look for something specific really. I try to look for a high level and clear an area. So right now I'm going to head out towards these mountain areas and plenty of phylos spawn around here in fact it's probably the best map you can find a phylo on they're all out in the open there's no redwoods so they're not going to jump out the trees and get you so I'm looking for a wolf or a saber or a phylo of a high level but all that could change because if I see a max level t-rex then we're going for that instead okay a level 85 it's a nice color so, more like a classic wolf I like the white but 85 you're not going to cut it what level is this fawny dragon only a 50 see I'd take a max level fawny dragon as well it would be good for getting wood I can see a final up there in a the distance I'm going to check the level out of that in a sec Let's stick this oil pump down while I'm hunting and combing this area. There we go. So that's slowly going to produce oil over time. Eventually that won't even be a problem on this map. Now where did that filer go? Like I say, much easier to tame them here than in the redwoods. And honestly probably one of my favorite mounts in the game. I want to do my top five mounts in the game and this one's going to drop in there somewhere. Uh, but a level 10, yeah, that's no good. I do like getting around the map on a bird. And of course the dragon would be sweet because you can really get across the map super fast on the back of a dragon but even so I find it really easy to tame on the back of a filer you can just cling to a cliff looks like we upset that little rock golem there I haven't decided whether I'm going to tame one I think perhaps I should tame one perhaps do a little bit of a tutorial on how to tame one um, easy but I don't need one in the playthrough what level is this? Which is kind of a little bit daft, really. Let's check out this file. See, that it's like three in a row we found. Oh, level five, that's no good. So the rock golem is pretty irrelevant to the map. It's more of a PvP thing. I suppose it would be good for gravering rock and stone and sand. But unfortunately, you can't use them in the boss fights. And they're no good in the caves. So if I did tame one up, it would be pretty irrelevant to complete in the game. Ooh, looks like a f wolf over the back there. What level was that? Again, a 50. Okay. Well, 
we'll keep on hunting and just killing everything we see in this area and hopefully we can come across a decent level and let's head this way but yeah the rock golem mm, I think I will tame one up but it's not really relevant to us completing the arc still it can look after the base and stand there and look good if nothing else and looky what we have here we've got another Philo fighting something hyenas by the looks of it yeah so an 85 and I think it's an 85 wolf as well yeah pack leaders 85 I'd probably grab a pack of hyenas Devil got a level. Might just boost stamina a bit, try and get that up to around 2000. Again, we're gonna have to go. Always with the event dinos, they're always a bad level for me. I've killed two or three Rexes, but I haven't seen anything of a decent level yet on this map, so. And still undecided as to how we're going to be tackling that final boss having a couple of debates about it on the discord oh there's a wolf down there a 135 nice I'm going to take that but before I do I'm going to go back to that oil vein we put down and grab some more oil so have been talking about how we go about defeating the manticore on this map and there's a few different ways to do it and I think it's just going to depend on how the playthrough goes whether I use dragons or T-Rex to do it we'll just have to see what drops I'm not even thinking about grabbing any of the d dragons yet I'd like to have a backup RG do a little bit of Argentavis breeding as well before we even think about doing that just in case I lose this one so was that the wolf? The 135 male wolf? Yeah, we'll take this back to base. So it should be ready to tame up. I've just grabbed a load of prime meat. And there should be enough to tame it up straight away. I have been away for a little bit. So this is a good start. Again, I need to get the kibble up and running. And I think we're going to have to tame a load of Uteranus, really. We need the kibble. There we go. So it tamed out at 202. Let's just shift it if we can. I can't. Uh, health not so great. 317 melee damage. I don't think that's too bad for a 135 wolf. I know I've had 150s that have had less than 300 on them, so it's a good start. Especially as we haven't got any kibble. If we can find another one, perhaps get a mutation or a couple of mutations in and an imprint, have a pack of them, that's going to be a really good way to go across the desert and get us a ton of polymer. Let's find out what this green drop is over here. And there's a phyla down there. Let's like say I would take a phyla if it was a decent level. I wouldn't mind doing the caves. All three of the caves actually on the phyla. I couldn't see what level that was then. Um, a 135 again. Well, I can't leave that here. Even though I was out hunting for a wolf, we're going to have to take that back. Let's just see what's in this green drop. Mm, nothing. Leather. Useless. I don't even think I've bothered learning it on this level. When you come in and get your in ingrams. Okay. Well, we're quite away from base. Might have to stop a couple of times, but 
Let's get this Fyler back. Oh, it's close. Well done, Devil. You took quite a punishment there. It's taken a little while to get back here, actually. Oh, did I have the wolf on follow all this time? Just as well, I didn't lose you. And I'm too heavy to move her yet. Okay, you just stay there. So how much health did you have back? I know it was close. I was pushing it there. Ooh, 1,500. <laughs> I'll just uh, force feed you a little bit, devil. Sorry about that. But you did well. <laughs> um, there we go. Get you up to around 2,000 and then you... I don't feel as guilty, just in case something comes over here and just attacks you. It's sort of one hitch here. We don't want that, do we, mate? No. Well done, though, devil. Okay. Well, let's knock this Philo out. It's probably going to take quite a few tranks to knock it down. And unfortunately, I don't have any kibble, so it's going to have to be prime meat. And I have looked all over this map, and I am yet to find any mutton. It's another one that I commented on as well. So, judging from where it spawns on the map, somebody showed me towards where the red obelisk, I'm pretty sure it doesn't last long. But I have hunted around there and I've not been able to find anything yet. So, we're going to have to use prime meat, which will mean it is going to lose its tame and effectiveness. Okay, so it's about to wake up, and we're at taming effectiveness 91.9%. So with the next bite, that's going to take us down below 90% taming effectiveness. And unfortunately, that was going to happen because it's totally prime meat tamed. We don't have any kibble or mutton. So we've lost at least a dozen levels there. And that does mean a lot in the great scheme of things, really. So... Really, I need to be thinking about taming up a bunch of Uteranus. They, of course, drop the largest eggs in the game, and then if I can get exceptional kibble, I can pretty much tame everything with that. And 4,700 on the health. Melee damage at 349. Actually, I don't think that's too bad on a Philo. Um... Not too bad. Not too bad. All things considered, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that and the wolf. And if I can find a couple more, we can do some selective breeding. Get an imprint on there at the very least. And we can do some caves. Either way really, actually a good pack of wolves or maybe on the phyla. But I would prefer to do the caves on the phyla. So... I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so there you have it. We've got ourselves a Philo and a Dire Wolf of a reasonable level. Something to get us started with at the very least. And definitely in the next episode, we're going to have to think about trying to tame some Uteranus. Just some low level ones. If I can get three or four low level Uteranus laying a few eggs around here, that will give us as much kibble as I'm going to need to tame out these guys exceptional kibble being the best that you can get so I think that's the easiest way to go about it and yeah just over here I'm trying to get some water to come up down through the waterfall there without having pipes and everything laying everywhere so there you have it we've managed to get ourselves a dire wolf and a phyla collio some pretty good levels and definitely next episode I'm going to have to think about just grabbing some low level Uteranuses. But we've got something to work with here. We can get another pair, we can do some selective breeding. Now Scorched Earth only has the three caves to do but I'm going to have to do them multiple times and there's some good loot drops in there. So reasonably happy with what we've managed to achieve here today. We've managed to get our basic base established and I'm going to get ourselves a fabricator built up and we'll start getting some more things crafted up helping us on our journey here 
I still need to perform that mind wipe tonic and sort out my fortitude. That's definitely something that I need to be doing next time round. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you're enjoying the complete playthrough of ARK from myself. I also do guides and other ARK related content that you're welcome to check out. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.